All right, what's on the bench today? Um, this was sent into the channel. Um, there is some folks up in Canada who have a tiny little uh, a company. I don't know if it's a one-man company or just a couple guys or whatever, but they have um, uh, a company called PN Labs. And they only have a couple products. It's kind of like a DIY maker space type of product. Um, and uh, I wanted to show it off. Uh, so they were gracious to send me some of their stuff. Uh, I think this is their whole product line, if I don't, if I can't remember. Um, but uh, they have uh, basically three things they sent me. Um, this one and this one are uh, uh, voltage and current protection circuits. Okay, so over voltage uh, protection and over voltage and over current protection. Uh, I really like this little guy here. We'll show that off today. Uh, but this one's for bigger stuff. Uh, it comes with the uh, uh, comes included with the uh, I forget what these connectors are called kind of the RC type car type connectors. Uh, this thing's good for 25 amps. So this is like an over voltage protection, but like lots of current. So this would be great for, uh, great for stuff like a solar panel or RC car or whatever, like big, big stuff. Um, this, this little guy here is good for six amps. So, uh, but you can program it uh, for different levels. I'll, sh I'll show that. So they, uh, they call the little one, the Protect Nano. Protect Nano. So you can adjust it for over voltage conditions for 3.3, 5, or 12 volts, and then over current up to 6 amps. Um, and then the big jobber is called the Protect, um, and it's 5 to 30 volts up to uh, 25 amps. So this one you can adjust. There's a potentiometer on the board, and you can adjust what voltage you want this thing to trip at. Okay. And then they also have a little buck converter. Um, uh, it's just a little board. It uh, comes actually with a little stick on heat sink uh, for a little buck converter. And so the buck converter is uh, 3, 33, 3 to 36 volts in, and then it outputs of either 3.3, 5, 9, or 12 volts at 2.3 amps. So nice little uh, uh, circuit if you want to add that to your... Uh, uh, to your project, okay? And all the little boards have uh, have writing on the back. This is not enough room for there. Uh, yeah, pnlabs.info. Uh, Rev G. <laughs> it took them a while. Okay. Um, so anyway, I'll put links down below. I think they have a, a site on Tindy. You can buy these things on Tindy. They have their own uh, own website. Uh, but today I want to uh, show you this little guy, which I'm really excited about. Now, um, it comes in the package. Let's see here. Here's, uh, here's one. It comes in the package and it comes with some headers, uh, just uh, 100 mil headers. So if you want to put headers on this, you can. It also comes with these little screw terminals. Uh, which which I thought were were uh, more usable for what I want to do, and so I've just put on the screw terminals here, input output, and then I put on a couple uh, <laughs> just little capacitors. I, I like to do this trick. I just put these two capacitors on here just just so I can uh, have a place to clip on, and uh, they don't short each other out. The little capacitor kind of like acts as, a, as an insulator <laughs> and doesn't get in the way of the circuit, right? So we will put an input on one side and an output the other on the other side. Now, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, they have really good documentation. Really, really good document. Yeah, so here's a nice big blow up here of their board. So again, you could either do the headers or you can do the terminals. Then there's these little jumper areas. Um, which everybody knows I'm not a great fan of, but uh, when I built mine, I couldn't get the solder to bridge across. I just put a tiny, tiny little piece of wire across to do the bridging. So you can bridge it for 5 volts, 12 volts, or 3.3 uh, 3 volts, and then you can bridge it for to trip at 1 amp, 3 amps, or 6 amps. Okay. So my little uh, demo today, I set it up to trip at 1 amp, and 12 volts. Okay, so one amp at 12 volts, it'll should protect whatever's on the other side. And then uh, very nicely, they give a whole bunch of uh, diagrams how to jumper it, uh, and then and then uh, uh, graphs on how it operates and what the trip points are. 
all kinds of they they did a really 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 good job of documenting documenting their uh, their product. Okay, so let's go ahead and play with it. Uh, I'm going to hook it up to my power supply, and then we'll put a, a DC load. This is a Miniware DC load. We'll put a DC load on the output so we can draw current and see if we can get it to trip or not. Okay. So uh, this little guy here will go on the output, which is uh, out in. So this is the output over here, and this is the plus side, and this is the minus side. There we go. Okay, so, oops. Let's see here. Okay, so I have that hooked up. Let me uh, grab my power supply. And we'll bring in the input over here. Input and ground. Let me turn my power supply on. Okay, uh, so let's see here. I have it set to 12 volts right now. And uh, current, I have it set to, uh, we will use, we will use this, okay. So let me back the camera up a bit. All right, let me turn on the uh, the DC load. Um, I have my power supply set for 12 volts, and so it should allow 12 volts to go through. And uh, there's a little uh, LED, I think you can see down there. It's green. It says it's all good to go. There's no trip condition or anything like that, so everything should be fine. And I have this set to uh, 0.995 amps. Let me turn this on. And I think I was a little bit too rushed there. Uh, let's see here. Let me turn this down. There we go. Oops. Uh, here, push this. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's retrip everything. There we go. Okay. All right, 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 right. Okay, so right now I've got 12 volts. Uh, we're measuring over here 11.75, and I'm measuring 9.8 amps. So I've got 9.8 9 amps going through, and then we should be able to increase this. 9.85, 9.9, 9.91, 9 9.92, 9 9.95, and bang, it just tripped. Uh, the green LED came off and the uh, load detected an open circuit and everything shut down. So it protected itself at 0.995 amps. So that's great. It did exactly what we wanted it to do. So let's move this back down to, uh, I'll move it back down to let's say 0.9 amps. Okay. And let me turn this on. And uh, reconnected things. Okay, so I removed the power and put the power back on to reset it. There is some reset pins down here and stuff where you could hit it to reset it. I haven't, I don't have that hooked up, so I just, I just disconnected power, put power back on to make it go. So it is right now running at uh, 10.6 watts, so there is power going through the little chip there. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to reach over around the camera without getting in the way of everything, and I am going to change the voltage. So let's see here. I'm right at 12 volts now. 12.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, keep going up. 12.6, 12.7, 12.8, 12.9. Thirteen. One, two, three, four, four, five is right there. Thirteen point six, thirteen point seven. We're measuring third at the at the actual device. We're measuring three point five. So I probably should read off of here. Three, thirteen point five, thirteen point five five. There we go. And it just shut down. So 13.55 volts is where it cut out. So it isn't exactly 12 volts, a little bit higher than that, but certainly 13.55 volts would protect anything if it was going crazy. So there you go. It is a cute little device. I really, really do like this product. Um, I can imagine putting this in lots of things. A lot of times you'll build a DIY project 
and uh, you will be relying on your power supply to be the safety factor where any over voltage or over current, the power supply will crowbar. But then when you hook it up with maybe a battery or some other power supply, and you're really, really nervous about protecting your circuit, uh, you could put one of these in there, either long-term or short-term, uh, to do the protection for you. So if the battery went over uh, 12 volts, it'll trip, 13.5. If it went, if the if the, if the uh, circuit start, started drawing more than one amp, something went wrong, something shorted out, this will protect it. So yeah, this is a, this is a really, really nice little device. I like it, the Protect Nano. Um, and then, like I said, they have this product here where you can adjust the, uh, the amount of the voltage that it trips at. And then uh, we can take a quick little, quick little look at their buck converter. I haven't opened this up yet. All right, here's their cute little buck converter. Um, the thing that you'll notice is that there is no inductor. Um, so it's built, built, this chip is designed so it doesn't need an inductor. So that's really, really nice. Now they did do what I like. When you're gonna have these solder blobby things, um, I think you can see, just see there on the camera, they have this little chevron and that makes it a little bit easier for the solder to bridge the gap. So I like these little chevron designs or some type of interleaf design where the solder can bridge across. The other one just had two things kind of butted up. So I would, I would recommend the company uh, keep, keep doing the things like this where you have the little chevron or something. Like, it does make it easier. Uh, but yeah, uh, so this one has, you can strap it for three and a half, uh, 3.3, 5, 9, and 12 and then it has a little stick on uh, stick on heat sink that you can put on there and uh, it also this one is designed with the little uh, oh, what do they call it uh, oh, now that I'm on camera I can't think of it the little mouse bites that are plated uh, there's a name for those anyway so when you have your own PC board you can act. You can you can use this and act. It acts like a surface mount part, and you can actually surface mount this board onto this board because there's uh, there is a section here that have these uh, plated plated notches. All right, and we have PG enable in ground and out PG. I don't know what that is. PG. I didn't look it up. But anyway, that's their that's their little book converter without a without a uh, inductor. I have to look up the part number of that thing. Anyway, uh, there you go. A video for uh, PN Labs, a nice little company up in Canada. Take a look at their stuff. Oops.